hello everyone this is this is my second lecture video on uh, nanotechnology that is classification of uh, nano structures i have explained all these type of nano particles uh, on the next slide uh, one by one uh, that are uh, uh, spherical nano particles nano rods ultra thin nano sheets and concave nano cubes number one is uh, uh, spherical nano particles spherical nano particles uh, are also called zero dimensional nano particles these are small clusters composed of a few to roughly 100 metal atoms and common spherical metal nano particles second one is that nano rods due to their uh, due to their rod like uh, shape uh, and one dimensional uh, behavior these are called nano rods and their major growth occurs in one dimension whereas it is limited in the two other dimensions nano rods wires beads ribbons and nano tubes ultra thin nano sheets ultra thin nano sheets are two dimensional particles and their major growth occur in the two dimension for example thin film with you know um, uh, nano meters thickness such as nano sheets plates planar triangles hexagons and discs etc fourth one is the concave nano uh, nano cubes these nano particles are three dimensional particles uh, their major growths occur in all three dimensions that is x uh, dimension y dimension and z dimension more complicated structures like various polyhedra uh, as well as assemblies of zero dimensions uh, one dimension and two dimension nano structures so all these are the uh, types of various types of uh, nanoparticles which have been classified on the basis of their structure and dimension uh, classification of nanostructures on the left side there is uh, uh, in the figure a this shows the small clusters of nanoparticles which gives its a spherical shape and the zero dimension uh, uh, and the b these, uh, nanop these nanoparticles are the rod like nanoparticles which give one dimension uh, one dimension nanofibers wires and rods c 2d two dimension films players and network etc and three dimension d shows the three dimension nano, uh, nano materials nanoparticles and the x y and z dimensions uh, basic synthetic approaches uh, actually there are two types of basic synthetic approaches number one is top down approach in which we break down uh, large objects which are called bulk materials and to small uh, particles that are called nanoparticles that's why it's called top down approach structural sizes and the medium to lower nanometer range starting from the large materials entity bottom up approach assembling atoms or molecules bottom up approach and this approach ionic atomic and molecular units assemble through various processes to form structures of, of nanometer length scale designing you know, particles of any size and morphology via unit by unit depo uh, deposition of our constituents bottom up method involved with chemical solution approach wide ranging uh, nano particles and nano compositors of a variety of new uh, uh, variety of materials for example metals alloys intermetallics and semiconductors so thank you so much guys for watching this lecture uh, lecture i'll be back with a new lecture uh, in the form of a video so please like and subscribe my channel so that you can get more videos uh, about any topic of the nanotechnology thank you so much